Howdy folks, how are you guys doing? Well, it's been a long time since y'all have seen me. Uh, I think it's been, what, probably two years now that I've uploaded on this channel? Well, today I have a video for you that is quite special. It's quite special to me, too. Hold on. Basically, what I got going on today is... Um, I got myself a forge, about $200 on Amazon. Uh, I think it's a Simmons store brand or something like that. Came in about four days after I purchased it. Not bad. Came a day early from when it was expected. I like using Amazon, it's pretty easy. Hang on as we get into the shop here. I'll have to find a spot to get us set up here. But we're going to be doing an unboxing of this because I have not been able to find a single video on the exact model um, model forge that I got. See, they have a triple burner and a single burner one, but I haven't seen a video of the dual burner. So. We're going to be checking out the Blacksmith's Forge Simmons Stone, or Simmons Store, my apologies. There you go, that's a little picture they provide. It's got dual burners, one door, and then one, you know, the open side. So, let me get something, open this up here, and uh, I'll get you guys set up somewhere. Let me do this out. I'll set you guys right here. There we go. Like I said, I bought this on Amazon. I'll go ahead and uh, show some pictures and uh, link it down below. Only ran me $200. I think it was on sale for like 14% off, so it probably only ran you like maybe 210, 220 bucks in the long run. Got our user manual and assembly instructions. Pretty basic. I mean, don't think I'll need them. Sure do love their packing. Alright, we got one mason, or one, uh, whatever stone they're called. Pretty good pack. I, uh, I saw a video on, um, a triple burner stainless one from a, a salvage something I'll uh, I'll probably link his page down below but uh basically it's the same packing I mean it's the same brand and whatnot all right we got the refractory cement just the basic bottle that you see on all the other videos I mean it was listed all right, we got our regulator. Not bad. It's instruction manual and all that. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I got my fans going. This this summer heat wave or whatever we're going through has been insane. So much packing. This thing feels pretty hefty. It looks good looks strong. I trust it. It's got a, I'd assume that's probably for the, uh, uh, the hose that goes to the actual forge itself. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you got the little regulator knob, just basic old plastic knob, nothing bad. Ah, we got the, this is the fiberglass wool. Uh, I don't have a dust mask or a, a dust mask right now, uh, right on off hand. So uh, I'm probably not be gonna be working with this. I'm just gonna, you know, pull it out and show you guys. But uh, I, got, I, got, I gotta wait for our, you know, county to get out of a burn van too. It's been so hot lately, you can't do anything. 
Yeah, this is the burners. You know, I can appreciate them including it, but at least, you know, make it not rusty if, it, if it's brand new. That was the thing that I saw in that other guy's videos. He was talking about how he had dents and it was all gunky, and this thing's the same way. I mean, it doesn't help. I live out in a rural area, so I can't really, you know, blame that on the packers, but at the same time, this, I mean, it's packed good enough. I don't think there, it should be this dirty, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's going to get dirty anyway. I don't see the need for this much packing, but, you know, hey, whatever. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. I think uh, the other guy's video that I saw said that this was the door handle. No, that's not even screwed on fully. Yeah, this is the door handle that screws into the side of the door so you can open it up so you know, it doesn't burn you. Alright. Got the, uh, got the hose here. Let's take a look at this. Changed before September of 26. Okay. That's interesting. I've never seen a hose with an expiration date. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's like a rubber kind of like BMX tire coating. I, I trust it. I was reading reviews that some people said they didn't trust it all that much. So I might end up getting another one. Not a bad burner. It is really dirty. Like the every fitting on here is just so gunk with like trash, like just nastiness. But once again, I mean, I'm not one to complain about being dirty. Don't take that the wrong way. Uh, yeah, they really really went for a packer of the year here or something uh, it feels good quality I mean it, it's it, it wasn't heavy one person can pick it up easily I mean as long as you can lift it a little bit but I mean it it wasn't anything heavy and like I mean, it came, like like I said, it came a day early. It was expected to come tomorrow, and I think tomorrow is Friday. That was the estimated uh, day of delivery, but it came today, luckily. Sadly, like I said, I can't use it right now, and I can't really set it up all that much. I can do the bare minimum for you guys, but I won't be able to turn it on or anything. I'll have to save that for a later video, but do be looking for it. just I really hate the packing technique not that I'm a packer myself but I'll cut the video and bring you guys back when I'm done unpacking this damn thing okay after probably like I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes of hassling with this thing. I finally got it unpacked. And this is just the burner. This isn't even the, the forge, so. Says it was tested. It has a little sticker on it. I don't know if I trust it. I'm testing it before I use it on my own anyway, because, yeah. It does look like it has the option for you to be able to use one burner at a time because the valve where it where the gas comes in is before this ball valve so i would assume you can use just one at a time but don't quote me on that at all 
All right, so that's that. Oh, extra little jets and like a, a little, you know, tube to pull it out with. Definitely important, you want that. And it looks like we got a little Allen key down here too. All right, so we got some Teflon tape and we got a little Allen key. All right. Clean up some of this trash here. on the uh, Amazon listing. I think it was like uh, 18 inches long and like uh, it's probably well, like half a foot maybe. Ignore me using scissors just tonight. I'm impatient. Maybe she is in all her glory. Wow. God, these things. Like that guy mentioned in his other video, or the video about the triple burner stainless one. He was saying how dirty it came. Brand new. And this is the same way. And this isn't even stainless. This is just like, you know, black based metal. I mean, it looks like it has a coating of paint or something on it, but. Hell, even the damn Allen key bolts on the side are rusty. All right. Yeah. So you guys can actually see this, sorry. Self-centered. Oh, there you go. Oh, it even has a cool little crack on the side. There you guys go. That is it, right there. Nothing special. Just the base board, you know. This will be my first ever Forge that I've owned, ever purchased, ever had anything, ever messed with. I've never done forging before, so if you want to leave comments down below making fun of my work or whatever, please do because I need it. Oh, just had a random bolt fall. Interesting. I'll set it like this so we can take the rest of this wrap off. Alright. Not bad. It's got a good bit of good bit of that uh, stuff in it. The fiberglass, I think it is. It's uh, it's not heavy or anything. It's pretty solid. It's got the one door. See, this was the one thing is I could barely find any about one, uh, the the door forges. There's it's like there's only videos on the ones that don't have them. Or it's double doors. It's not just like a, you know, one of them or something. And I'll let you guys look inside too. There you go. Definitely hefty. I'll have plenty of room to work metal in this sucker. Not bad. Nice little quiet. Doesn't look to have any uh, quality control. Could be better. It's got. Doesn't look like it was fully welded or anything. It just looks like it's kind of tacked together. It's got some rubbish from post office. I can't can't blame the shippers for that one. Like I said, it doesn't got to be pretty. You know, it's gonna get put to work. Figure we might as well throw this bad boy in there. 
go ahead and unscrew these puppies. Doesn't look like these holes were drilled center either, but hey, it could be a part of the design. I don't know, I didn't make it. I'm gonna open it to like where the holes start. I figure that's about it. Uh, yeah, right. Because you do want these to be as center as possible so you can put that uh, the fiberglass in between so that you don't get any stray flames or anything that come up. That would be bad news. Alright, there we go. Now we got it. Good. And that is good there too. Well, maybe it needs to come over. And honestly, if you put enough of that uh, that wool in there, it'll it'll do its job of making sure everything. We're gonna get it level with the top of this or the top of the little entrance that it goes into I don't know that for any reason I'm just gonna do it because it seems right so like I said don't quote me on anything I'm saying in this this is my own I'm taking the risk on my own so you know don't sue me or anything Stupid little island key they gave us because my mom. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Now we're not going to torque these bolts down or anything from what I've read. I mean, that would make sense. You don't want to put a big old gouge in the side of the metal. It's not like it's going to hurt it, but you know, you don't want to strip out your threads or anything like that. And some of these are really hard to get this Allen key into. Luckily, the packing on this, uh, the forge itself is not as outrageous as it is on the burners. Like I said, it does have a sticker that says it was tested, but I don't trust just, you know, a sticker that tells me that it was tested. I prefer to test it on my own just to make sure nothing happened in shipping. But, uh, that's it right there. That's a... That's one hell of a burner for a forge. I'll try not to get that in there. Alright, well, that about concludes this video for the most part, other than I guess I'll throw on the hose real quick and we're already getting the nine minutes, so. Alright, well. We'll throw on this hose real quick and then we're going to call it a video. It looks that I would take it, uh, let me get the regulator here real quick. Hang on here, folks. Oh, I'm an idiot. That doesn't even need to stay in there. Okay, well, a little, uh, little piece of advice for the not-so-smart like myself. Uh, there's a little connector that holds them together. No, it doesn't need to stay in there. It comes out for both sides. So don't leave it on there or anything. That hose feels pretty snug on there just for being on like the third tooth. I'm going to push it all the way to the back because I don't want this fucker blowing off. Excuse my language. But when it comes to death, I'm okay. Alright, it takes a small little flathead screwdriver. Something everyone should have or 
At least if you're going to be doing this, I'd hope to God you had a flathead screwdriver. Put it about in the middle. For safety purposes, I have my own hose clamp, so I might go ahead and throw on another one just to double up because I've read uh, on the reviews it said that some people were just skeptical about trusting it or just trusting that little hose clamp to keep it on. So I'm going to go ahead and double up because, I mean, I guess, right? It's like what anyone would do, yeah? Relatively long hose, not bad. You can definitely get some distance with that because you want to keep the propane tank as far as width possible. Alright, well we'll just go ahead and double up on the hose clamps that they gave us here since we've got two for one side. So we'll just double up on the other side and throw this one. No, that doesn't make much sense. I don't make much sense at all anyway. baby snug on there. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our regulator down here. I hope y'all can see what I'm setting up here and whatnot. Hopefully this isn't just a terrible video. Now I figure that the red part is where the knob goes into. That's just you know my smart abilities to see. We're going to go ahead and Slap on some Teflon tape here. Oh, hell yeah, a whole roll. That's not bad right there. That's actually a score. I could take some Teflon tape any day. So they give you plenty of Teflon tape. You'll have it for a while. And they give you enough that if you ever needed to take it off and replace any of these fittings, that you'll have enough Teflon tape you won't be going out and spending any money on it. I may say this is awfully hard to get threaded on here. It could be either threading it. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a backwards thread. So, just for any future reference out there. Pressure gauge at the top looks snug enough. I don't think I'm going to do anything with it for now. Uh, regulator. Top screws right on. I'm kind of skeptical on if that's going to stay in there over time, but hey, I mean, whatever gets it done, you know. I'm going to that's the problem, is I don't know how much I'm going to unscrew it, so we'll just go with that and call it. Now, before I forget, we're going to go ahead and get one more clamp. Alright, that's on there. And we're going to get this on here. And we're going to put it on as far as it'll go on this. All the way up to that little, uh, oh, yeah, right. we'll put one right up at the front, and then we'll put one all kind of ports, or just right behind it, basically. Some of these hose clamps really suck, kind of hate them, they're a, you know, love they hate kind of tool. Some people love them, some people hate them. Personally, I hate it. Them and grease certs, those are like the worst engineered things possible. God, I hate those. Alright, 
Alright, we're getting real far into the video. I don't even know if I can edit this far of the video, so we might have to cut out a lot. Once I get this on, we'll call it, but... Anyway, that's about the gist of uh, what I was trying to get out of this video. I will make another turning it on and getting it fully set up and hooked up, and I'll have to make a video on doing the refractory coating on the inside of it because I know that that takes about 24 hours to cure and then three hours to heat cure it so it's going to take us some time but that's about it um, yeah thank you guys for watching and clicking on the video I hope you guys enjoyed sorry I'm sweaty and uh, I'll see you in the next one peace